have some plants that I have to put in soil, but I have run out of space. And you see what I mean by that. Everywhere there is something sown, either grown, growing, or waiting to grow. The allotment in the autumn and winter is packed with uh, flavors, vegetables, salad greens, and everything that we can eat. Some of them are already in seed, so I keep them for seed. Beautiful. Look. But at the same time, it's full again. No empty space. So I need to create more beds. This is a cardboard I put. I removed some of the tarpaulin. This is the three sister beds. Uh, which was now unpacked, removed everything, packed up as you can see. I'm putting the cardboard on the gap so in two months that will be completely rotten. I built my raised bed here, put the compost on it and here we are. We can directly plant into it. I built my first raised bed. It took Two minutes, probably less. Okay, another minute passed, and I built the second raised bed. Okay, now five minutes has passed, and I've brought the compost and I spread it over here. Now I will rake it. And we will see. Okay, as you can see now, after 10 minutes, I've raked the bed. Okay. Now I'm going to plant the seedlings that I have. And sow a few seeds probably. Uh, I use a dibber to dib a hole. Then I will put the plant into that hole. like that then I cover it and after all every plant is done I will also water them dig a hole put the plant these are kales of different varieties The plant goes in and I will do this for all the beds. I have uh, some multi uh leaks which have been in the module for a long time that they had land for that. So I'm just going to sow them now to plant them here in a row. I've already planted some leeks. I will plant this one in a row. Then I will go for the next row, which will be another thing. And now I have sown one row of the leeks also. And I'm going now to plant as uh, I have, as it goes, and I have plants as much as I have in these two raised beds. Quick way, and I'm doing it. I will show you the final result. Okay, I have now finished planting the kales, different varieties. And uh, leeks, multi sown leeks. I like to have my vegetables with some flowers, and because it's autumn and we, we will have a winter also after that, definitely. <laughs> so, what I will do, I will plant some cold hardy flowers. What about some pansies? 
Okay, I have now planted everything. What has remained is to water. So I'm going to water the plants. Definitely pansies need needs a lot of water. I uh, put the rose on the watering can. Small rose. That's the tip of the watering can attachment. And depending on how they grow, uh, I think because it's autumn now, we have a um, little bit of slow growth. So I may just later grow some radishes or something fast growing like lettuces between these plants in the rows. So let me see what we can do. This is the second watering can. Each one has seven liters, and I may do another one also, just to make sure that they have enough water. Two raised beds prepared in 30 minutes. No dig method. That's the beauty of the no dig method. This is a technique that uh, I was using before knowing that Charles Zoding has a uh, has an innovation on this also. Lots of innovation, years of experience. I just felt that my land is, is too rough, full of stones and flint and other things. I live in Hertfordshire, so it's full of rocks. So what I thought is that I will add some compost to the top of my soil when I remove the weeds. And that was what I was doing. Then I learned about the chores loading and his no dig method in 2012. I started to follow his example and uh, practically using mulch and the uh, uh, raised beds. Every year adding mulch. Instead of digging, you just add mulch. Excellent results year after year.